Welcome back to the shop, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I've got a poor man's machining tip for you. So, us wannabe metal workers, we've all been there at some time. Um, you've got a piece of round bar stock, you know, round material, and you want to drill a hole through the center of it and have it consistent all the way through, and it ends up looking something like this. When you really want it to look something like this. So today I'm going to show y'all how I went from having parts looking like this to looking like this. The conventional method uh, <laughs> for us poor men's uh, machine shops would um, be to take your material with a center punch and a hammer and eyeball it for like 10 minutes, try to get it uh, as center as possible, and then hit it, and then try to drill it and make sure that it's uh, center, but no matter how much time you try to get it center, it just doesn't come out right. So here is how I uh, I get it center. Oh yeah, and I failed to mention, um, poor man's machine shop does not have a lathe. Alright, first things first, of course. You gotta have your material, and for today I've got a piece of, uh, I guess stainless, no that's not stainless, uh, anyway, some kind of steel, I don't, I'm sorry, I apologize, I don't, uh, I don't know my metals all that well, um, uh, I got a, uh, piece of, um, 7 16th round stock with, that's, uh, one inch long, that I've marked up, so let's, uh, let's cut it to size. Okay, now we've got our material. Now, now we're actually getting into the uh, actual method, okay? So, your material has to be able to fit into your drill chuck, because, um, as you know, in a lathe, you're spinning the material, not the drill bit, okay? So, that'll center it up better than having to center punch the material and then spin the drill bit, because it may go anywhere. So whenever you spin the material, it's going to self-center itself, you know. That's why you need a lathe, okay. So, what you need to do, take your drill bit, put it upside down in the drill chuck. <coughs> in the drill chuck. Now, don't tighten it down that, you know, that well, because you don't want to damage it. Just finger tighten it, okay. And then just turn it on for a second to make sure it's uh, center. Sorry about the shakiness. Okay. Um, and then, you bring it down to your vise. Okay. And put it at the desired uh, depth. This will all make sense in the end. But um, you want the back of your vise just to barely touch the drill bit to where it's just going to hold it right there. And then you tighten it up. Pretty tight. Okay. And loosen chuck bring it up okay now your drill bit is in uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say in in um, center with your uh, chuck okay now you want to make sure that your vise is really tight okay and uh, just you know kind of get to do this and you can see those dolls are just barely skimming it, and that is pretty well centered. So, we're ready to move on to the next step. So, open up your jaws. And this is only 7 16th, so I've got a 5 8 chuck. So, that's no problem. All right. Then, you close them down on your material. You want that sticking out just a little ways. You don't want it up into the chuck because then you're going to have shavings getting into the jaws and you do not want that. Okay, and then tighten her down just like a big drill bit. Alright, so our drill bit is center with the chuck. It's all squared up. Our table is tight in all directions. Our, uh, um... 
vice is tight our vice is tightened down to the table um material is in the chuck it is tight we're good to go ladies and gentlemen so here we go now you're going to want to spin this just about the same rpms you'd want to spin your drill bit okay so let's see what gear are we in we're in C1. we're in 2230, 2230 RPM for a 7 16th, I believe, drill bit. No, that's not 7, I'm sorry. Um, 730 seconds drill bit. So here we go. Put a little bit of oil on there, a little on the uh, material. Here we go. Oh, no. now, whenever you're starting off, this thing is going to self center. So bring it down really slowly. And just let it barely touch and let it center itself. Put a little bit of pressure. And just like that, it's centered. And you just continue to drill. <laughs> drill. And you want to maintain some a good bit of oil on there because your vertical and it's not gonna run into the uh, the uh, material, it's just gonna run down, okay? There is a little bit of chowdering, so it may be a little off on it. Okay, now is the moment of truth. Let's see, hang on. Hmm, Chuck is pretty warm because that material has gotten really hot. Okay. Oops, oops. There we go. Uh, well, it's pretty good. Not the best, but it's pretty good. So as you can see, that's actually pretty good for not having a lathe and doing it on a drill press. Um, it'd be really hard to get that good of results um, doing the opposite of what I've done here. Which, you know, most people would probably do. But, um... It's, uh, it's, uh, it's okay. Um, I know it's a little off. It's a little off because probably the, um, the, uh, end here wasn't flush. I didn't really take the time to file it down and make sure it was, uh, it was flat and everything and square. But, uh, that's probably what put it off a little bit. If it was completely flat, it should be perfect every single time. But, uh, yeah, that, I think that method works pretty well. Pretty useful, actually. Uh... Now, I never mentioned that I did not come up with this method <laughs> by any means. Um, I actually saw a YouTube video on it, and I'm pretty sure he didn't come up with it either. It's probably been well known. But, uh, that's how you do it in the uh, poor man's machine shop, y'all. <laughs> now, the pros and cons. The good, uh, the good part is, uh, well, obviously your material is going to be more centered than, um, than the conventional method. Uh... It's, um, yeah, that's, it takes out a lot of guesswork, and, uh, I think that's all the pros. Now, the cons of it, obviously, it's not going to be perfect. If you actually took the time and center punched it and, uh, had, you know, the correct type of vice and had it all center and stuff, you could do better in the conventional method. But, if you're in a bit of a hurry or, you know, don't have uh, the patience, you know, um, this method works fine uh, another bad thing it really heats up your drill chuck I don't know if that's a bad thing I don't really think so because it's all metal but again I don't really like it getting that warm so if you're gonna be doing that all day it may cause some damage to your uh, machine um, but yeah that's uh, that's just about all the bad parts I could think of um, so yeah that's a that's a pretty cool method um, oh yeah, another bad thing. This isn't going to work all the time because obviously if you've got material bigger than the capacity of your chuck, you can't you can't turn it. Okay. So yeah, I mentioned that earlier, but just get that out of the way. It's uh it's not going to work with all material. So that's uh I think that's the last thing I've got to say about it. Hope y'all enjoyed. See you next time on WCovids. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.